Hey, we'd like to show you a couple of operations that you can perform with your drill press. Uh, in this case, we've taken the support legs off of the indicator support bar and just mounted the bar uh, into the drill press using the spindle adapter. Bring it down until our indicator moves, lock it in place. You can simply rotate it around and use this to square your table up to your spindle. Lifting it up, I'm going to pull this gauge off and we use that same ground shaft that we used in the, for the spindle adapter to uh, check the run out of it on the top. Simply mount your indicator horizontally, bring it up to the adapter, rotate the chuck to check the run out in your, in your drill chuck. Uh, if you've ever changed knives in a joiner, you know it can be quite tedious. Uh, with the unit gauge, it's a real simple matter. Put the gauge on, zero it out, bring it over the blades, and because we're using an indicator, we can see it move as we come to make sure we're at the top dead center, and use that to line our, uh, line our blades. Of course, you work from side to side. The other thing we can do is check the, the, the beds themselves for parallelism. Go from one side to the other, we should get an even reading. If you wanted to take a set of mounts off of your material with your joiner, working from the infeed side, I'll spin the indicator around, bring it down, zero it out, and here for instance if I wanted to take, I'll say exactly a 32nd of an inch, I'd bring it down till I'm at 32nd of an inch, lock it in place, and you're ready to cut.